A used condom led to the untimely demise of this beautiful young lady. This is Wendy Mbito, a 24-year-old young beautiful lady from Chitungweza who had just recently married her lover, Sibet Nyamudeza, a 34-year-old man. Sibet was a bus conductor or a Wendy as it is popularly known in Zimbabwe. The two lived in Chitungweza, a dormitory town near the capital. These two loved the groove and they loved to party. Even though their lifestyles were complementary, they started to encounter some tensions in their marriage. This is quite expected in young marriages, but the root cause of their problems was Sibet's infidelity. Sibet was extremely unfaithful and she had caught him multiple times texting other girls and even bedding them. Although she was frustrated with his adultery, she was determined to make it work. Whenever she would catch him cheating, he would beg forgiveness and compensate her with some money for alcohol. She would then take the money and go to Chikwana Business Center to have drinks with her friends. Her determination to remain married was not just because of his infidelity, but also because of his strange behavior. She had reported to her sister that he would encounter strange nightmares. He would also talk, walk, and even jump in his sleep, and this worried her. Her concerns were laid to rest because he assured her that he was working on it using traditional medicine. She also said that sometimes she would wake up from her sleep and see him staring at her in a strange way. One time she even found Juju in her pillow and he told her that this was all so that they could prosper. He had done a money ritual. On the 10th of February 2017, as she was doing her wifely duties, she took out the laundry to wash it at around midday. When it was time to wash his jeans, she came across a used condom in one of his pockets. She was terribly devastated stated because of this and she wondered why this man kept breaking her heart. When he returned from work, she was ready to confront him. She asked him why he kept cheating on her. This led to the biggest altercation they had ever had in their marriage. Sibet had no excuse. It was obvious that the used condom was his and that he was sleeping around behind her back. He admitted to adultery but he kept giving justifications. This made her even more angry. She then threatened to leave him but he begged for her forgiveness. Forgiveness. He even promised that this was the last time that she would ever cheat on him. He asked for one last chance and they went to bed. It is unclear what drove him, considering that they had solved their conflict, but he strangled her to death with his shoelace in the middle of the night. When he saw that she had died, he then stashed her body under their matrimonial bed to hide it. He even slept on the bed while his wife's dead body was underneath the bed. He woke up early in the morning and fled the scene. No one at the house knew that Wendy had tragically lost her life. Her sister Lisa Mbito never looked for her for the next two days. She only went to her room on a Sunday and when she opened the door there was a strong stench emanating from the room. She did not know that this was her sister's dead body. She then called her other sister so that they could clean her sister's room and as they cleaned, they found her sister's dead body under the bed. They screamed and alerted the neighbors who later called the police. The police then arrived on the scene and found Wendy's body in its early stages of decomposition. The question on everyone's mind was who could have done this and why. Everyone suspected Sibet, obviously, because he's the one that lived with Wendy, but no one had seen him in the last two days. They did not know that Sibet was already gone. He had gone to Unit C, got money from a friend, and told them that he had killed someone, but they did not take him seriously. He is believed to have then skipped the country. It is unclear if he was ever apprehended by the ZRP, but my best guess is that he's probably in South Africa because I could not find any court documents relating to his trial or his conviction. This file reminds us to know when to leave toxic relationships. It is better to live with a bruised ego than to live in a casket. May her soul continue to rest in eternal peace.